So today I'll be doing uh, transferring of patient from bed to the chair. So uh, for my assessment, I would like to check and review the patient's medical record to see if there's any contraindications um, and also um, the nursing care plan just to make sure that um, you're not uh, you're doing this safely for the patient. Um, just make sure that there's no contraindication in doing this procedure. And also, I would like to, um, you know, assess if there's any tube, IV lines, or any equipment that is attached to the patient, and um, how you're going to be avoiding this, or if you need to disconnect this um, equipment. Um, you you want to make sure that you do that before doing this procedure. For my um, planning, I would like to consult my patient's um, handling algorithm, just if there's if it is available and. That way you would know how to approach and move in this patient. So for my implementation, I would like to first um, do my hand hygiene technique. So wash your hands properly and dry it just so you don't spread uh, uh, microorganisms to the patient. And then identify your patient's name and date of birth um, using two identifiers. That way um, you make sure that this is the patient that you're working on. Uh, so uh, hi ma'am, my name is Jara and um, I just want to verify your full name and your date of birth. So the patient will give that to you and then just uh, check on your chart and see if that's identical. And then after that, um, you would like to check on the room and see if there's any equipment that is um, hindering your um, transferring. So just move um, all the equipment um, aside and then just make sure that you make your chair a little bit um, closer to the bed and um, on the parallel to the bed. That way it's easier for you to transfer and um, just um, make sure that um, um, everything is uh, 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 put away. So just make sure when you're doing this um, maneuver, um, you would like to um, stand um, on your legs and then um, a shoulder beat. Um, you would like to position your other foot um, just a little bit parallel to the other foot um, just to get your balance just like this. We would like to encourage the patient to use the stand assist device um, if available. Um, that way, it's easier for you both to do this procedure. So just let your patient swing their hips to the side of the bed. Um, and then um, just position yourself uh, by the patient when you're doing this procedure. Just make sure that you, um, once you're grabbing the hips, you pivot your legs towards the, um, the area where you're doing this procedure. So pivot your, your leg. Um, when you're grabbing the hips of the patient and then just make sure when you're doing this uh, let the patient hold you or do the stand assist device um, when you're doing this so just make sure that your back is straight up and then when you're lifting you would like to um, put the force towards the back of your leg so when you're transferring the patient so if needed, you would like to um, move around some equipment in the room. That way you could give a, give a way for your chair that you're going to be placing beside the bed. Um, just make sure that you provide some privacy to the patient by closing the doors and the windows when you're doing this procedure and explain to the patient what you're doing for her today or for him today. After that, um, you would like to place the bed into the lowest position. Um, just make sure that um, you know, um, it is safe for the patient to transfer over to the chair. Um, just make sure that you put the rails down. Um, that way it's easier for the patient to um, move around. And then position your patient in a sitting position. So just let the patient sit up upright. That way it's easier for both of you when you're doing this procedure. Just make sure that it is indicated for the patient to do a sitting position like this. Let's just say your chair um, doesn't have a break or a lock. And just make sure that you secure it to the bed. Um, that way it doesn't slip or it doesn't um, lose your position when you're doing this procedure for the safety of the patient. also like to encourage the patient to use a um, stand assist aid um, just uh, to help you out for this procedure and also as well as the patient. Um, just make sure it can either be a freestanding or um, holding the side of the rails of the bed. As a nurse, you want to make sure that you move to the side of the bed where the patient is going to be um, moving in um, just to make sure that um, you both have a secure um, um, transfer 
So stand in front of the patient and just make sure that the patient's legs are dangling on the side of the bed. Uh, and then just let them, you know, rest for a little bit for a few seconds. That way, just to make sure that they're not going to be dizzy when they're doing this procedure and for the safety of the patient. And if there's any robe available, you would like to um, let them wear the robe or any slippers that could um, help them not to fall. Uh, just make sure that you give that to them when you're doing this. So if your patient has a gate belt, um, um, depending on your uh, institution's policy, you can wrap this gate belt around the hips of the patient so that it would help you to give up the patient's hips to the chair. So when you lift your patient, uh, place them in the chair, just make sure that the chair holds the armchair, uh, the arms of the chair just to help them uh, you know, slowly, gradually uh, lower themselves to the chair and just make sure that you're um, in front of them and helping them uh, until they get stable on the chair. Just make sure that their feet are touching the, the floor and the sides of the, the front sides of the chair. And then upon transferring, just make sure that um, if you need to remove the gate belt, uh, just take it out. Um, otherwise, just leave it on. That way, it's easier for you to um, put the patient back to the bed if necessary. And then just get some blankets to cover the patient and then let the patient be in a comfortable position and give the patient a book or anything uh, that they would like to do when uh, they're already seated um, comfortably. And then just um, assess all the alignments and if everything is fine. Uh, just make sure that you um, clean all the equipments that you use after doing this procedure um, and document all your findings. Um, and then um, that will be all for my transferring of patient from bed to the chair.